there, it's me, Lisa, from FantabulouslyFrugal.com. I have a, another box I wanted to share with you guys, and this is the November box from Wantable. Wantable has a few different subscription boxes. I choose to receive the beauty box, but I know they also have a jewelry box, and I think they even have lingerie now. Um, so the Wantable box, it is a little pricier. It's 40 bucks a month, although you can also get it for $36 if you subscribe month to month. But what they do that's different from a lot of the other boxes is that they don't send samples. They send full-size beauty products that are supposedly tailored specifically to what you like to receive. So I'm going to try to show you this. Um, this month you can see here um, the sheet says exactly what... I would like to receive which is kind of neat so based on that um, the sheet I love eyeliner highlighter lip color lash product and my skin tone is medium I said that I dislike receiving brow products and I like receiving blush nail polish bronzer eyeshadow and tools so it's kind of neat they put it right there um, and then they send you products that are really uh, based on what you would like to receive. Um, so I'll show you what I received this month. I added it up and the retail value of the box was about $73. So for $36 or $40, that's really um, not too bad of a return at all um, because we're talking about high-end beauty products that obviously cost a little bit of money and they don't often go on sale, most importantly. So um, this, for some of these, this is one of the only times I, I'll get them for less. Um, but anyhow, let's take a peek. The first item we have here is from a brand called Galactic Beauty, and it is in eye powder. Um, I did open this box already. I photographed them for um, my my blog, um, so I, I do already know what's here, but it, I also wanted to find out the value of the box before I um, did this video. So it's oh hello um, it's a really pretty eyeshadow powder and I'm gonna try to show it to you without dumping it all over my computer so um, it's a great color I will definitely wear this color it's like a almost like a light pink mauve -y, um, it's just a really, really pretty color. I have a feeling, I guess I can show you here, um, that it will actually go on pretty, pretty subtly. So I've got just a little bit there. And then put it there so you can, you can hardly see it. So I don't think it's going to be overwhelming at all, but I think it will also make a nice accent um, product. Um, oh, the color here on the side of the box is actually Nude Glam. So. Like I said, it's just going to add just a little bit of sparkle. And this product has a retail value of $17. So pretty nice. I've never heard of Galactic Beauty, so I'm excited to check that out. Next we have, and this is already out of here, BFR Beauty For Real. And they sent a lip cream. And it has a built-in mirror, so you can tear off the... Um, the little sheet that says peel off and it'll be a full mirror there and then this is just a a lip gloss again this is going to be pretty nude well it's not on my hand right now but if I put that on it would be actually a pretty nude color um, that I really I like quite a bit um, and on my sheet for Wantable I did tell them that I prefer uh, nude um, colors like that um, light pinks and things like that to the red obviously I'm wearing red <laughs> right now um, but normally I would prefer a color like this so this is exciting I have never tried anything from Beauty For Real before so I'm excited to check that out and the retail value of this cream is $22 so this is a pretty expensive lip cream next up we have this is a lip glaze and let me check the brand because actually on the box it doesn't sorry it doesn't say the company or anything like that so this is from Mana Kadar lip glaze patty cakes it has a retail value of 19 dollars 
actually it does say that the brand right there on the front of the tube. Mana Kadar, again, this is a great um, nudish color that I like quite a bit. And then you can see a very light peach color. So you can, it's actually hard to see there. Um, so really like this as well. So I have a lip glaze, I have a lip cream. Um, so I think we're doing pretty well with this box. And we have one more full size item. And that is a mascara from a company called Kaylin. I'm really not familiar with Kaylin Cosmetics, um, but as you know, I love receiving mascara. So obviously I'm not gonna complain about that. And this is a $15 tube of mascara. It actually, it feels like, if you can believe it, like a super luxe box. Um, I don't know, it's just really nice packaging. It doesn't, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, I did open this already. And the only thing that's a little weird about this is that it's blue. The mascara is blue, um, which I'll show you in a second. But again, this is a really nice tube. Um, I love mas mascara. I don't care that it's blue. I've actually, um, I'll wear it on occasion. Um, and it's actually really a fun color. And, um, Colored mascara and colored eyeliner are super in right now. Um, on my blog, I've written a couple of times about the Butter London colors that I'm kind of obsessed with, but I haven't gone out and purchased any yet. Um, and I don't actually have any blue mascara at the moment, although I used to have um, a couple tubes of it, I think from Stila. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm excited to try a new brand um, and all of that good stuff. So. Finally, they sent one more item. It's from Skin. It's an instant skin tightener and line filler. So I'm actually really familiar with this product. I didn't do a video for it, but Beauty Box 5 sent me a full-size product of this to review. I reviewed it on my blog. I'll put the link up here so you can check it out. I did not like this product one bit, um, so I will definitely <laughs> not be using it. But what you're supposed to do is, um, before you apply makeup, you're supposed to put it on your face, like I have this line right there. Um, you would put it in over your lines to help fill in, um, fill in the line, I guess, so that when you put your makeup on, it goes on really smooth. I think this is the weirdest product, to be honest with you, because I put it on and you, it my moisturizer started running and I just ended up with a big white blob over my forehead. And I didn't think it filled in the line. I didn't think it did much of anything. So I will not be using this, but um, Wantable doesn't actually count this as a paid product, thank goodness, because I, I just don't like it. Um, I've seen it does have other reviews online that are much better than mine. So obviously don't take my word for it. This is just not my favorite product. So because of that, I'm really happy that Wantable sent four other awesome products this month. Um, so I don't really count that. Like I said, um, the value on that was zero. So I think it's just an extra product they threw in. But overall, this was an awesome box for Wantable. I've, like I said, I had four full-size products. The retail value of those products was $73, and my cost was $40. Again, it's $36 if you sub subscribe. So that's really not bad. I really love that this box sends a bunch of full-size beauty products, and they're not sending the usual brands. You know, um, almost every month they send me brands that I've never heard of, so I think it's an excellent way to try out new products and get a sense for new brands um, that really I probably wouldn't try otherwise. So I think that's awesome. So that's it from me with this box. Again, this is the November box from Wantable. And I will put the link up here if you want to check them out. And I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.